Okay, so this is what we are going to make. This is the front side and it's double layered. You're gonna have a double layer on the front, a single layer on the back. And you can tell when you open the package which side is the front. It's very important when you make your cuts on the front side, you do it on this side, and on the back side, you do it on the opposite end on this side. You do not want your cuts to, to line up. They need to be on opposite ends from each other. So this is the front, so you can't see through the mask. You have your double layer cut, and the back cut is on this side. If the cuts line up, the mask will not work. You're gonna go approximately two inches in on the front from the edge. You're gonna pinch the, t the top two layers together. Pull that back layer away so you don't cut it. If you cut it all the way through, the mask will be ruined. Fold it in half. Again, make sure you don't have that third layer. And then we're gonna approximately cut two inches out of the front to get this right here, to get our hole on the front. And I'm gonna take my cutting wheel. If you don't have that, you can use sewing scissors or a very sharp pair of scissors. You don't want to use scissors that the kids have been cutting paper with or anything else with because they won't be sharp enough to get through the double layers of fabric. So like I said, approximately two inches and you're just going to cut the very tip of the fabric. Oh, it would help if I could get my wheel off. The very tip of the fabric. And then when you open it, you have your hole. And then we're gonna flip it over to the back side. And again, we're gonna go approximately two inches in. And pinch it up. And on this side, you're just gonna have the one single layer on the back. And again, we're gonna take approximately two inches. And again, just the very edge. And then you have your hole on the back. These are a little big for the kids, so what we've done is we've taken just these little craft beads and put them on. They're really tight and a little bit hard to get on, so I'm using, I just had this here, and so this is what I'm using. It's just a jewelry wire and um, taking and putting the wire through the bead and around the loop like that. And then you stick it back through the bead. This is a little tough, but once you get going and you kind of get the hang of it, it gets easier. I'm taking my scissors and wrapping the jewelry wire around my scissors a couple of times and then pulling the end of the loop through the bead. 
and then it's adjustable for each student to tighten it or loosen it when they get it so that it will fit their face. And that's it. It's pretty simple. It doesn't take real long to do. And you have a mask.